Hello to everyone watching this footage. It's Leviathan here again. To start things off, I'm going to introduce myself to newcomers. I'm born high functioning autistic. I'm obsessed with fiction, and I'm planning to make my own creative universe like the late Stanley did. This particular video is going to involve three characters, two of which are closely affiliated with the same character in a surprising fashion. So, I hope you guys could bear with me as I uh, calculate these um, data sheets and such. So, bear with me, please. Ultra Lhasa. Real name, Shannon Murray. Height, 8 feet 6 inches to unlimited. Weight, 1,250 pounds to unlimited. Status, hero and granddaughter of goddess. Base, default, Earth, mobile. Intelligence, two brains. Behavior, moody, destructive, and willful. She rarely cares for what she damages. Lethality, only when threatened or during a fight. Weaknesses, low IQ and bad anger issues. Powers, she has similar powers as Colossa, along with unlimited strength and can project nuclear beams from her mouth. Eyes, sky blue, hair, platinum white, and float. Origin. When Colossa almost lost in her fight against the evil Cheer, the Alpha Gods decided to fuse her with the power to develop muscle, similar muscles as Muskra, thus becoming the berserk Ultra Lhasa. After the victory, Shannon asked her grandmother, Goddess, if she could become Ultra Lhasa more often. Eventually, Ultra Lhasa saved the Leviathan universe from being annihilated by the forever growing Mighty Meg. And when Mighty Meg devoured the hero, she literally burst from her stomach and defeated her instantly. Nowadays, Colossa would only change into Ultra Lhasa whenever it's absolutely needed in order to avoid losing control in the process. Costume. She wears a pair of white undergarments, a set of white undergarments, to be exact. Teams, solitary or with other heroes. Ones of inspiration, Colossa, Marvel's Hulk. The next one is about a character that also has to do deal with, um, with Colossa, you know, in a, but in a different way. Here it is. Vampasa. Real name, Shannon Murray. Height, 5 feet 8 inches to vast. Weight, 185 pounds to vast. Status, anti-hero in Colossa Corpse member. Base, the Midnight Dimension, mobile. Intelligence, four brains. Behavior, destructive, loving, and moody. She'll always try to cure her thirst. Lethality, only when threatened or during a fight. Weaknesses, Silver, garlic, and sunburns. Powers. She possesses similar powers as Colossa, along with vampire base powers. Eyes deep red, hair platinum white, and flowy. Origin. In the Midnight Dimension, where all vampires were forever warring against all werewolves, the native Colossa was rather a bloodthirsty seductress known simply as Vampasa. One day, Vampasa was visited by her default counterpart, and when she tried to drain her, she and Colossa duked it out until Vampasa was almost killed with a silver rod impaled to her heart. After being taken to the default dimension, Pim granted Vampasa with her own ring of nourishment, and she would nowadays spend her time as a member of the Colossa Corps, though she hasn't forgiven Colossa yet. Costume she wears a set of feminine vampire clothes. Teams, solitary, with the Colossa Corpse and others. Original inspiration, vampires and Colossa. I hope you're enjoying this so far. Here's the last character. Just please, bear with me, please. Sorry. Warp Goat. Real name, inapplicable. Height, 3 feet 10 inches. Weight, 77 pounds. Status, Hero, and Legion of Goats member. Base, Two Earths, Mobile. Intelligence, Three Brains. Behavior, 
charming, woeful, and a bit disturbing. He will always love Warp Girl. Lethality. Only when threatened or during a fight. Weaknesses. He has no healing factor. Powers. He can make others hallucinate that he is warping himself to unbearable levels, along with all goat-based powers. He can also speak English. Eyes, light black, hair, bright white, and stubby. Origin. One day, in the dimensional plane of the warped, the fertility plant gestated a male baby goat, and after instantly aging to adulthood, he developed the power to make others think that he's warping himself. Naming himself as Warp Goat, he traveled to the default Earth and met the heroic Warp Girl, who he had fallen in love with. After helping Warp Girl with a relentless horde of rotting Nazis, Warp Goat revealed his love to Warp Girl and she revealed that she loved him back. After their wedding, Warp Goat and Warp Girl had a satyr son named Warp Boy, who possesses the same powers as his parents. Eventually, Warp Goat was hired by Goat Girl to become a member of the Legion of Goats. Costume. He's covered in bright white fur. Teams, solitary with Warp Girl and other heroes. Original inspiration, Goat Simulator. Well, I I hope you guys liked the three characters I've introduced. Recently, I am getting some transmission from an individual named Cameron, who is going to help me make more illustrations of the long run, provided that I would be able to pay him for each illustration. As far as I know, I will be paying him $20 apiece. The only problem is, is that I'm trying to be strategic with my currency because I'm recently trying to um, earn enough money so that way me and my family would visit Westport for the first time in over 10 years, which is a very relaxing, small coastal village in Washington. It was a very great place, and I was so desperate to um, be able to have my... Um, another chance of going there because of the fine nostalgia and such. So I basically have to afford the gas mileage and possibly some other stuff for Westport before I could afford anything else from my job working at McDonald's. And I hope you guys wouldn't judge me for working at McDonald's because I know the stereotypes. And, um, Hope you have a fine, refreshing day and such, and a fine rest of the month of April. If you guys want, you could like, subscribe, and comment down below. It's your choice. You get the drill. So enjoy your times, and until next time, in transmission.